Get in that. Nice. Truly spectacular place and some of the fish that are down there. You never know. You don't want to miss a bite on Taz and I'll tell you that much because it could be potentially another world record. Wow. <laughs> you stole my fish. <laughs> I might have. It's nice, dude. Yes. Oh, wow. That's yeah, nice man. One. Yeah, man. If you're into big fish, this is definitely a place that you have to have to come visit. Tassin Lake is a world-class lake trout fishery. If you're looking for giant lake trout, Tassin Lake, Northwest Saskatchewan. Northern pike fishing here can also produce fish over 50 inches. You may have learned a little bit about it on Lindner's Angling Edge or the Canadian Experience. Now, last summer, Jeremy Smith, Jeff Simpson, and Mike Hayner joined us at Tassin Lake Lodge for five days of fishing, shore lunches, moose sightings, and lots of fun. Yeah, I'm Jeremy Smith from Lindner Media Productions. We produce Lindner's Angling Edge, so we do sport fishing content across North America and do a lot of stuff in Canada. And uh, Tazan Lake is one of the places that has been on my bucket list for a long time. In fact, I've pretty much watched every Tazan TV episode there is because I'm fascinated by the size of the, the lake trout. And anybody who's spent any time fishing lake trout knows that it is difficult to find a shot at a true giant, giant trout. You know, the far north is home to uh, many of the best trout fisheries, but it seems like Tazan is one of those places that is consistently kicking out those real giant magnum trout. So when the opportunity came up to visit this fishery, it was uh, a no-brainer. We had to come. So check this off the bucket list, and it really is an amazing place. You know, every fishery is a little bit different, but this place is truly beautiful. When you fly in, you can see how the landscape changes and how unique this place is, where it sits. The background, as you can see, it looks almost mountainous. And it that was a really cool ride. Truly spectacular place and some of the fish that are down there. You never know, you don't want to miss a bite on Taz and I'll tell you that much because it could be potentially another world record. And fishing water like that is pretty awesome. What I've always found with the trout especially is uh, I'll usually hit them one way and then turn around and hit them from the other direction, then hit them the other direction just to see, make sure you're getting your lure in front of them. The yeah, right direction. sure. Yeah, it's almost harassing them, right? So a lot of times really? if okay. you can go three, four different ways, present your, present your bait in three, four different uh -huh. angles, a lot of times you get an opportunity. No drag anyway, no. I don't think it's a good one. But who knows? Let's see. No. I'll just keep it going. Probably using the 255. Boom. Done. Uh, is it getting bigger? No. It's giving you a pretty good rip. He's deep, 50 feet. Sweet, man. Don't pull me the eye, <laughs> I'm curious to see what a Trevor Fiddler is. <laughs> <laughs> We're shaking off five pounders. He's probably going to be shaking off 20s. <laughs> Some days. Depends on the day. He's holding his own anyway. It's not little. Nope. Is it an edible bottle, you think? Uh, maybe. Probably he's holding his own. I would call him a mid-30s, eh? Just because he's holding his own, but he ain't pulling no drag, right? Uh -huh. But the drag's tight. You know, I got a drag set for a hook set. Beauty. I'll grab the net then here. I got 24 feet out. Rock 
probably an eight pounder towel hook. <laughs> Been there, done that. That's nice, dude. Yes. Right on, huh? Perfect. That is perfect. Sweet, we got those guys probably, well, their first fish is a 41 inch pike. Mm -hmm. We're out screwing around. There's some trout, he's staying down there. Yeah, for sure, eh? You can see them on the finder coming by here and there. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely not a little one that's fall hooked, you know. No, definitely not. That's so cool. Okay, you see the color. Nice one. Yeah, yeah man. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that fish. Oh, yeah, that's a nice fish. Look at that. Yeah, cool. yeah man. Cool. Beauty trout. Perfect. Yeah. The different patterns mm. they have there just to study the fish. Need to, right? Yeah, everyone's got character. Look at those white margins, too. Mm -hmm. That's sweet. Yeah, no orange on him yet, though. Hey? Oh, a little bit a better. Bit, yeah. There. yeah, yeah. Cool. On the back half, easy. Hey? Mm -hmm. No cool. ball starting yet, though, either. Beautiful. Right All right. Okay. Sweet. Cool. Let's get another one. I might have. So that was pretty, pretty comical. Dan had a fish on or thought he had a fish on or something. He brought his lure up and he was foul hooked. And as soon as he got his bait to the water and realized there's no fish on it, bam, I got hit. So this fish might have hit Dan first. They'll do that a lot. They're so aggressive. They will, uh, they'll hit one lure, boom, move on to the other one. Or sometimes you can, you can set the hook into them, they can pop it, and they'll come back and hit it again. This one's at 64 feet, we'll see. <clears throat> Fighting them straight up and down now. Oh yeah, he's, he's got a little bit, a little bit to him. Oh. I'm gonna bring him over to this side of the boat. some line out. None of us are gonna get too excited till we uh till we see him. And get in the boat. Well, I was <laughs> gonna say yeah. you've screwed up many times today. Screwed up? What do you mean screwed how up? How many have you lost? I've lost a couple. Yeah. Huh, that how happens. Many, how many have I lost? It's not always screwing up. Apparently, you lost this one. <laughs> Well, we're just getting into the major, too. Yeah, I think we could have a, a good time here. Uh, it's definitely... Get out, folks, get out of your way. No, you're, you're good. You're fine. Yeah. Big one? Uh, he seems to be all right. We'll see what he ends up being. I'm not, I don't think it's gonna be a world record. There he is right here. 
Here come the air bubbles. Yeah, good, good. More air bubbles. <coughs> Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> yeah, I don't like that when they okay, do that. So that down, get the net ready. Here. You ready? Maybe not. <laughs> he saw the light. Ready? Ready when you are. Oh yeah, that's a good one. That's a really nice fish. I don't think he's quite moldy, but he's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh gosh, he's got a lot of life in him still. Get in there. We got him. Nice. Heck yeah. for me to say that there's anything that's my favorite about the trip the you know getting here the plane ride in was it, it really is beautiful the people here are fantastic the the place is beautiful and of course the fishing is is outstanding as well you know it's not like we're coming up here planning on catching boatloads of giant lake trout every day i mean it's a it's a big fish fishery and if you've spent any time targeting big fish you know that yeah you can get lucky and there's times when they're on fire and you can catch lots and big and there's other times when you gotta gotta earn it here we go just about add him to the boat he didn't like that very much just pulling over one of our favorite spots here and we pulled over a bunch of fish that just haven't wanted to bite and finally we got a taker and he's uh, seeing the light and doesn't seem to like it very much. Oh man. There's some air bubbles popping up, that's good. Not sure he's a mega mega, but he's a nice fish anyways. Looking pretty cool, man. Anytime you get to feel those head shakes, it's a uh, it's fun time. No doubt. take its time and yeah one's up out. regardless it's a great fighting fish oh absolutely tough. okay we see weights oh wow That's yeah nice man one. yeah man let's see if he's ready yet maybe not okay let's see Ooh. there we go got him yeah nice. right Sweet. on buddy i need help with that bag yep, here <laughs> sorry Woo. Oh, okay, there we go. All right, sorry for the unhandy camera work, but we got it. Got him. Nice job, dude. Good. That's outstanding. Cool. Wow. There she cool, is. Dude. Nice little 20 pounder, maybe. It's a nice fish, anyways. Fun oh, fight, man. fun hit. Can't complain about that. That is awesome. Nice. Let me just get a Yeah. Awesome, dude. Very cool. It's <laughs> been caught before, too. Think so? Yeah. Mouth kind of looks like it. Sure. You hooked it. I think it was. Get your release, baby. There she goes. Back to the depths. Love that part. <laughs> Very nice, Tazan Lake. Woo! Nice. Look at these, yo. Heck yeah.
Mano y Mano. I think this is a better one. He has been... What are you at for the line? I'm at 100 feet, so at some point here, we'll probably start to see him down on the bottom. I'm gonna sit down. He's down at about 70 feet right now where I'm fighting him. And uh, I'm just gonna play him slow. You can see him right here. And we hit the major uh, about 45 minutes ago or so. And it's been a little slow. Yesterday was slow, this morning was a little slow. And then, boy, right before that major hit, I think they caught one in the other boat over there. That was probably upper 30s. Look at the fish. And then we caught a couple smaller ones. And uh, this guy came and just smacked it. And look, there's another fish underneath there chasing him up and down. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna drop the jig down. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get the net ready. Okay, he's at 64 feet. I know, got some time, but get it ready now. It doesn't rock overboard. <laughs> we try to bring them up slow. And let them uh, expel some gases as they come up. Play them out a little bit. And we watch for air bubbles. What do you got? 20 and he's running. I gave him a little line there. I'm going to predict 43 inches. I think that's probably a pretty safe prediction. Park here he is right here. Okay. We got him. It's a longer one. He's better. Yeah. I think. Well, I would say it's definitely a place that you want to come. If you get an opportunity to come here, you want to, you just want to see it. I mean, if, if you're into big fish, this is definitely a place that you have to, have to come visit. Yesterday, Barry was out um, and they ended up catching, you know, a, I don't know how big it was, but it was just a big, beautiful fish. And it's just like, you know that at any point in time, the fish of your dreams can happen. Like there's a lot of places where you can go have action. There's places where you can catch big fish but this is a place where you can catch something that is like really 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 special and to me that's that's pretty cool there aren't many places like that in the world yeah that's fish that's fish well this is what i remember about tassel lake big fish big head shakes Feels like a good one. Honestly, Dan, the last time I saw you catch a big fish, this is the image I have, is you and your rain gear. Yeah, I haven't had great luck fishing with you, to be honest. Well, what I was gonna say is you've been catching fish in the rain. Well, there's that too, but the other fish I've caught I didn't in think this I state. had anything to do with it. Yeah, well, we got a little bit before we're gonna see this one. This is not a light rod and it wants to be at the bottom. Oh, what was that? Is that GoPro running? No. Of course it's Oh, wait. Uh, yep, it okay, is. Okay, good. Oh my gosh. <coughs> Oh, 
This is a big fish. If it's not, it's got the heart of a champion. Right on the bottom. <laughs> oh. Right down on the bottom, Dan. Yep. Hopefully I got a good hook set into him. I set the hook like three times. Because you know, you expect these fish out here, big fish like that, to just try to rip the rod out of your hand. And that's just not necessarily the case. With these flat fish, they definitely tend to hit it harder, but especially with the rubber baits, it's just kind of sometimes like a little, it's like a little tap, tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Or there's just weight there. And uh, you're holding so much weight that it takes a second sometimes to figure out if it's a fish or you're just feeling bottom or what. So I gave it like three extra hook sets. And hopefully she's in there good, because I think this is a big fish. And it's been a while since I've done this, but feels like all the other big ones I've caught on this lake. Yeah, this feels really, really nice, actually. Good. Good, good. You know, we've been out here fishing for the last couple of days, and yesterday was pretty slow. Today, the, the bite window has picked up a little bit. I think it's ground though. And uh, I've got some water on the lens here. And this will be fish number five in the boat today out here. But uh, the biggest has been about 37 inches. Where you at? 80 feet. 80 feet. Okay. I was making ground. And then it just kind of stopped me here. It's not pulling a whole lot of drag. Making some more ground here again. Coming up to 60. Your arm's getting tired? Oh yeah. You want, to, you want me to take over? You know the answer to that. <laughs> 40 foot. I think the fish is getting tired too. I really hope it's not one of those that just has the heart of a champion. You know, we've seen that a lot where sometimes the, the super monsters will put up a, a pretty big, ow. The super monsters will put up a pretty big fight, but sometimes those upper 30s, low 40 inch fish will fight even harder. Yeah, and you know what? That's really okay, because obviously you want to catch a big one, but what's the fun of it is fighting them, right? So, yeah. I'll take this. We're at 20, 20, 28 and a half feet on my line counter here. It might try to make one more, one more run. Yep, there. <laughs> There we go. Well, not as far as I thought it would. 27 feet. I really like being on this side of the boat. I might try to swing it to the yep, other side sounds here. Sounds good. Get it to the other side of this. Uh, sure. There's more fish down there. I like staying on the upland side of things just so it doesn't you know, go into the boat. Yeah, the, yeah. the boat doesn't blow over it. 17 feet. Okay, I'm gonna grab the net. Yeah, I think that's a safe bet. It's got a few pulls in it, but it's just not enough to get some drag out. My drag isn't super tight. Maybe it is too tight, I don't know. I really hope I tied a good knot. <laughs> Ooh, don't do that. Yeah, this is where it starts to get exciting because then they get close to the close to the surface and they realize, wait a minute, I don't like this very much. All right, we're close. Okay. We're gonna get eyes on her here pretty quick. Okay. Yeah, here's some bubbles. There it is. That's a nice fish. That's oh, a yeah. good fish. Oh, that's a nice fish. Oh, <laughs> that's a nice fish. Oh. oh, that is a big fish, Dan. Yep. All right. Cooler. In the net. Nice. Nice. That's nice, what nice. we've been looking for. Nice. Whew. Heck yeah. That's a big fish. Big That's fish what we've been looking here. for today, Dan. Say that. Again. Oh, big fish live in this lake. Spectacular fish that live in beautiful places. Tazan Lake. You know who we got that from? The guy's fishing down there. Jeremy Smith. 42 inches. Fat, healthy. 
Oh, we... And angry. Angry, yeah. All right. Just maniacs about wanting to get one of these big things. So everything about it's been great. We just had a great shore lunch. We've been laughing. We've been having fun. Though we're not sleeping, everybody's still in great spirits because it's such a, an amazing place to be.